Today we're demonstrating the Bonatron Uninterruptible Power for Drives cabinet system. This particular cabinet system is a 230 volt, 12 kilowatt, 30 second uh, pull outage ride through. Inside the cabinet, we have the voltage regulator booster, which is connected in parallel to the DC bus connections of the drive and pulls energy out of a charged battery bank. And that's what it uses to provide the DC bus voltage. Here we have the voltage regulator booster, the charger that maintains the battery bank charged and ready for use, and down here we have our battery modules. This particular system, everything is included in the cabinet. For some cabinet systems at higher kilowatts, you need a separate battery enclosure along with the electronics enclosure. Now we're going to energize the system. We're going to review the indicators and then we'll do a ride through test. First, we provide power to the drive and we wait 30 seconds for pre-charge. Once we've waited the 30 seconds for the drive to pre-charge, then we energize the Bonatron ride through. Noting the indications, our power indication on the charger and our green power indication on the voltage regulator booster. <clears throat> Then next we energize the battery bank and enable the charger and enable the ride through. Now the ride through cabinet system is fully up and operational and waiting in parallel connection to the drive for the utility power outage or inner plant ride through event. Now we're going to accomplish a ride-through test. There are two ways to test the ride-through, either under full actual load, or we do a ride-through test with the online ride-through test function. We're going to push the button here, and this boosts the DC bus, or boosts the DC bus through the ride-through from 50 to 100 volts without boosting it high enough to where the drive will trip on all the voltage. This can be done online, and you can view the indications at the DD5 display here. It should show you the ride-through test was successful, and it should show you the DC bus levels and AC line voltages. The second method of testing the ride-through cabinet is to do it under actual load. For that, we need to apply a load which we have here. And we've energized the motor to apply a load to the ride through. We have the timer set for a 30 second outage, which is what the batteries are rated for, 30 seconds at 12 kilowatts. Press the button. We're watching the indicators. As you can see, with the yellow light, the ride through is active right now. And we should see results of the D5 display in approximately 30 seconds. As you can see, you see the voltage output, 295 volts, which had held up the ride through with no change in speed or clock of the motor. And that accomplishes our ride through testing. And if you have any questions or if you'd like to get more information, please go to 